Hello everybody and thank you much for watching. I'm editing videos inside the Kai Master on my Samsung Deck setup using Galaxy Tab S6, but sometimes I need to do a quick touches, quick edits just before the final re the final video export. And these kind of edits I can do on my Note 9 because I have a setup where the folder of this Kai Master is synced between the Galaxy Tab S6 and Note 9. Whatever I do on a Galaxy Tab S6 will be exactly on the Note 9 and whatever I will finish or could do quick edits on Note 9, I will get the same result on Galaxy Tab S6. So in this video, I will show you how everything is set up. For this to work, I'm using the SyncThing software, SyncThing app on my Galaxy Tab S6 to make the folder KaiMaster to be synced between two devices. Setting up is very easy and I will show you how everything, how you can get this one working. First, we need to make a connection between the Tab S6 and Note 9 to start setting up the folders. On the Samsung Deck side, if I'll open the SyncThing app, I'll get the folder and the devices tab completely empty. So I need to click on the hamburger menu and click on the show device ID because I need to enter that device ID on my Note 9 SyncThing app to make a connection work. On the Note 9, if I'll run the SyncThing app and under devices at the top right hand corner, if I press on the plus sign, I give a device a name. I'm going to call it tab S6. And instead of entering a long ID number, I'm just going to click on the QR code and I'll get the QR reader app automatically showing up. You might need to download this app if you want to, if you're going to use that way. I'm just going to scan the QR. The QR, the ID of the tablet 6 automatically got populated inside the app. Just making sure everything is fine. I'm going to press on the plus sign and press finish on this. On the tab on the Samsung Dex. Now I need to wait for about 10, 15 seconds or so, and after that I'll get the the message showing that I want to connect. This app has the web GUI as well. So if I click through hamburger menu, hamburger menu, select web GUI, that's what I will get. And once the connection is established, I will need to approve. And the message at the top top side uh, at the top of the page will show up saying, "Do you want your?" Note 9, make a connection to a Galaxy Tab S6. So let's wait for that to happen. I do have a message showing up that the SM9, uh, SMN960F, which is Note 9 model number, wants to make a connection. I'm going to say add a device. That's a device ID automatically populated. I just need to give a device name, which is going to be Note 9. And I'm going to click save. Using a web GUI, you can start setting up the folders, but there is a a bit of a pain because you need to enter actual path of the folder and we're going to use the Android side or Android inter interface instead of a web GUI. So right now I have a Note 9 and Tablet 6 connected. Under folders, I'm going to click add a new folder, give folder name, I'm going to say KineMaster, or give this sync a name, which I'm going to say KineMaster, gives a unique ID between these two devices. And under file picker, I'm just going to go and select the Kai Master folder. This is all the folders inside Kai Master root folder. At the bottom, I'm going to say allow Kai Master access. Um, make sure that Node 9 is turned on. This, uh, this is where you will find all your devices list, list of all your devices where this folder can be sent. So I'm going to say just Node 9 and everything else I'm pretty much leaving by default. I'm going to click create. And now what's going to happen, tab, tab is 6 or sync thing app inside tab S6 Samsung Dex is going to push a notification to my Note 9 saying there is a folder the tab S6 would like to sync with you. Do you allow or deny? So I'm just going to wait for a second for this to happen. I do have a notification showing up that device tab S6 wants to share folder Kai Master. So I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to make sure that device name, the folder name is the same, ID, unique ID number is the same. And if I click on a directory, I need to go to the same location on my phone now. So I'm going to go internal storage, go to letter K, find folder KineMaster, tap on that, and allow access to KineMaster, allow it. I have tab S6 turned on for my device to sync in, and Shield TV, I'm going to leave it off. My Note 9 is already connected to Shield TV, and there is a folder in sync. I'm just going to leave Shield TV off. But as you can see, you can select one device and that folder can be spread across multiple devices as many as you want to be synced in between. And again, the rest of the settings I'm leaving by default uh, as, as they are. I'm going to tap on the plus sign and under folders now I have a Kai Master folder set up which is right now syncing between. So next I'm just going to open Kai Master app on my Samsung DeX. So let's get that going. And I'll start editing a video. I'm going to say 16 by 9 aspect ratio. To properly use this, you will need to have all your media files inside the Kai Master folder because otherwise the syncing and the project file is not going to be exactly the same between your Tablet 6 
and of night. Obviously, you can have the folder somewhere synced in. Um, a camera folder, for example, on the Galaxy Tab S6 synced in to a camera folder on your Note 9, but you need to make sure that the path is exactly the same. That's why I suggest to have all your media file files, photos, images, and music inside the KaiMaster folder. And I have a folder called YouTube Files inside KaiMaster folder. That's where I'm just gonna select these two thumbnails from my previous videos. I'm gonna press OK, and I'm just gonna go a bit somewhere here, add the layer, add the text, I'm gonna say test, expand that to be a bit bigger, and I'm just gonna, let's say, I'm just gonna do dark color, and I'm gonna leave it here. So I'm gonna exit out, or close it, and right now Kamast is showing there is a, a project going on. If I open KaiMaster on my Note 9, I do have the folder, the same thumbnail of the project showing up. If I will tap on that and I click Edit. If I go, as you can see, Test and showing everything is exactly the same. So now if I'm going to click on Test and I'm just going to turn upside down. I agree to that, go back. And right now, let's say a couple of minutes later, I'm sitting in front of my Samsung Tech Setup. I need to get this video output and export it. I'm going to find the camera tab, open up, go into this project, check if everything's synced. Yeah, test is upside down. Actually, I need to cut this video, for example. So I'm just going to say trim it from here. And let's say I want to trim it from here. Move test, move test a bit here, close it. And I'm, I'm just going somewhere, walking away from my Samsung Tech setup. And 10, 15 minutes later, I'm just gonna open the KineMaster on my phone instead. I'm gonna open up, click edit the project. And right now, as you can see, the project is much shorter. I'm just gonna do another edit. I'm just gonna say test. Right now, it needs to be something like this. Go back, close it. Again, a couple of minutes later, I'm coming back to my Samsung Deck setup. I'm happy that everything is there. I will need to check if everything is there. Click edit. Yeah, test it looks fine, and now I can export this video on my Samsung DeX Tab S6 side, where my Note 9 is not going to be well. It's not going to be working hard to get this file exported. I'm just going to leave Tab S6 to its bit. And you, when you're exporting, if you export inside the KineMaster folder, please note that the same export file will have to be synced to, or will start getting synced to a Note 9. So the storage between these devices needs to be or have enough storage between these two devices to sync everything between. But it works perfectly for me and I've been using it like this for months and months now. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.